Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button in the video, and if you have anything to say, hit me up in the comment section. But this is going to be the aftermath to tonight's UFC 284 and the co-main event, fighting for the UFC Interim 145 pound championship title Yair Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett and in the main event fighting for the UFC 155 pound title you had Islam Makashev the champion defending his belt against Alexander Volkanovsky who was the champion at the 145 pound division moving up to the 155 pound division to be able to challenge for that damn belt now going into the co-main event with Yair Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett this fight went literally like I called it in my final thoughts video dude you had a dude like Yair Rodriguez who I definitely knew was the better tactician and technician in the striking department in that damn cage going up against a powerhouse dude like Josh Emmett who always relies and focuses on his overhand right and just overwhelming his opponents with his sheer power and strength. And going into this fight, I had a feeling that Yair Rodriguez was going to be too much in the striking department for a dude like Josh Emmett. And I actually called that if he did not finish Josh Emmett, that he was going to beat him by decision. And he actually did the latter. Now, going into that fight, he did a really good job being able to use his movement to be able to offset the rhythm of a dude like Josh Emmett. And using his precision striking, he was on super point with his combinations, with his boxing, with his kicks going into that fight. He hurt Josh Emmett multiple times in that damn fight, hitting him with punches, kicks, elbows, flying knees. And actually, before he finished off Josh Emmett, he ended up hitting him with a flying knee because he was so comfortable in the striking department. Josh Emmett was just being very predictable, trying to spam that damn right hand like he always do in all of his damn fights. Wasn't using his wrestling at all in the fight to be able to set up his striking. And when Yair Rodriguez hit him with that flying knee, he caught him flush. Josh Emmett ended up using it to get a takedown. And in the midst of him being on top, Yair Rodriguez was hitting him with elbows and ended up using an armbar triangle transition to catch Josh Emmett in a triangle, had it locked, and that was pretty much murder she wrote right there. You gotta give a dude like Yair Rodriguez his props being able to finish a dude like Josh Emmett and now Yair Rodriguez is the 145 pound in the room champion in the damn UFC dude so it's gonna be badass to be able to see him fight for the undisputed title against the dude like Alexander Volkanovsky now going into the main event with Islam Makashev and Alexander Volkanovsky Dude, this was a very intriguing match, and when I called this fight, I actually thought a dude like Islam Makashev was going to be able to finish a dude like Alexander Volkanovsky with a submission, but Alexander Volkanovsky proved why he is arguably the number one pound-for-pound -pound dude in the damn UFC with the performance that he was able to put on with a dude like Makashev. Alexander Volkanovsky definitely showed that his strength carried up to the 155 pound division because he was just as strong as a dude like Islam Makashev. Not only was he as strong as Islam Makashev, but he was actually faster than Islam Makashev in the striking department. As soon as they had their first couple of exchanges, you could definitely tell that Volkanovsky was the faster striker. His power definitely carried up to the 155 pound division with him being able to hurt a dude like Makashev in the first couple of exchanges. But the one thing that was helping a dude like Islam Makashev in this fight is something that I said in my final thoughts video. Even though Islam had the height advantage, which is something that I didn't think was going to play any difference in this fight with Volkanovski always being the shorter dude in his fights. But the angle with him being a southpaw and that straight left was definitely 
definitely giving the dude like Volkanovski problems. And you could tell that Islam got some crack because he actually hurt Volkanovski on a few different occasions, being able to drop him on two different occasions. But Volkanovski was super durable in the fight. He actually hurt Islam Makashev on a few different occasions too, also dropping a dude like Makashev. And the one thing that really surprised me in this fight is his wrestling and his actual technique was on par with the dude like Islam Makashev. Even when Makashev was taking them down, Volkanovski was able to get back up. And even in the last round, Volkanovski was actually able to reverse a dude like Makashev, get his own takedown, and he was able to finish the last round on top of a dude like Makashev using hellacious ground and pound. And he actually had Makashev in a hell of a lot of trouble in that damn last round but at the end of the damn fight Islam Makashev ended up getting the decision win over a dude like Volkanovski and personally you could actually argue a dude like Volkanovski getting that damn win personally I had it for Makashev but if anybody wanted to argue for a dude like Volkanovski you would definitely have a credible argument being able to give Volkanovski the win in this damn fight but it just depends on how you score the fight and Alexander Volkanovski definitely showed he is arguably pound for pound better than a dude like Islam Makashev. And personally, I would not mind seeing a rematch with these two because the fight was just that damn close. Now, going into the future with the dude like Islam Makashev, it's definitely going to be interesting to see who his next opponent is going to be. The UFC lightweight division is definitely getting mixed up right now because you have a dude like Darius who's actually in talks right now to fight Charles Oliveira. So the only dude that I could see fighting a dude like Makashev is possibly a dude like Dustin Poirier. He is the top dude after Charles Oliveira to be able to fight for that damn title right now. So with that being stated, only time is gonna tell what is gonna happen from here. Who is Makashev gonna fight next? But hopefully, we can definitely find out soon, you dig? So with that being stated, I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, alright? So, I hope you liked the video. Holla at your man.